Hello guys and welcome to another episode of The Voice of Kosi. I am Olwen Kosi and I have a guest today, Mr. Lutando Yalwa. Welcome Lutando. Hi Olwe, how are you? I'm good and you friend, how are you doing? I'm good, so do I introduce myself? <laughs> yeah, you should introduce yourself <laughs> Well, hi everyone, my name is Lutando Yalwa. I'm a BA student at CPUT. It's my third year now, yeah. Yeah, so he's um, studying B. Ed, which is... Um, Bachelor's in Education. Bachelor of Education, yes. yeah. Basically, back in the day, they used to call it teaching. So, yeah, yeah man. So he's just going to give us a brief, brief background on what um, subjects he chose in high school, mm-hmm. what subjects he's doing in university, mm-hmm. pros and cons of, obviously, the course he's doing, and what do the future prospects look like. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you for being here. Lovely to have you. So let's start off. What um subjects did you do in high school? Okay, so in high school... I start okay the basics yeah. L O I did maths yeah uh, pure maths pure maths okay yes. pure maths shout out to you should have <laughs> should have not done that <laughs> to myself but anyways yeah. but I also did I did commerce I did commercial subjects yeah. so I did accounting business studies economics and what um language did you do English Afrikaans English and Afrikaans yes. so it was English and Afrikaans pure maths eco accounting. accounting business studies business studies yes. okay and then how did you think about studying teaching how did you find your way yeah. going into the special education okay. so initially it was not really my plan to study teaching okay. i wanted to do bcom mm. but my marks were not that good mm. so rather i opted to do teaching to mm. teach accounting oh. so i'm sort of like in the field of accounting but not as an accountant mm. yes rather i'm teaching accounting yes mm. hopefully in the future i'll pursue that i don't know Damn, that's like a nice wow that's interesting <laughs> yes. i never heard that one before yeah so another thing i just want to ask you is okay you're in high school right yeah. you're doing these common yeah. subjects and then you matriculate and you mm-hmm. realize okay your marks are not that great yeah. you want to actually study teaching yes. how did you apply did you originally apply for accounting and then mm-hmm. get rejected mm-hmm. or like what advice would you give someone that's doing common subjects let's say they're yeah. grade 10 11 or 12 mm-hmm. and they realize actually they're not managing what to, would to you do say it. to okay. them well, there are actually a range of options that people can actually follow. Mm-hmm. Um, when I realized that my marks were not good enough, I started in college. Mm-hmm. So in 2019, I went to college and I did financial management um, just for a year. So that's also another thing that people can do. If your marks are not good enough for you to go to university and study what you want, you can actually start doing a financial management course in college mm-hmm. and then continue from there on to get like your degree and so forth and so forth. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately for me, I didn't really want to continue with it because of the location, like where I was, because mm-hmm. I was in the Northern Cape, so I decided to leave. However, if someone wants to study BCom or whatever accounting course there is, they have to be serious mm. and they have to put their best foot forth. And if you're not that good in maths or you don't really like it, you might want to reconsider because maths is actually important. And you also have to do good in maths and accounting and all those other subjects. It's like 60% and above that you need. Mm, for so maths, I, accounting and which um, other subjects? All the, if Say, for example, you wanted to become accounting or become economics, that economics or that accounting that you want to do, it has to be very good. Mm. Over 60%. And maths as well, I think it's a 50% minimum that they require. Mm. And I was not good in maths, so that's why I didn't make it. Mm. But that's an option. So you have to be very good in the subject that you want to do. It, be it economics or accounting, you have to manage to get at least 60% in it. And how my thing came about, um, mm-hmm. I rewrote my two of my subjects mm. While I was in college doing financial management, I didn't really like the place I was in. So I started applying again for BCom accounting and stuff. And I still got rejected, but they took me for a teaching degree. So I was like, okay, it's fine. If I can still major in accounting, that's also good for me. So I just came here to study that. Oh, wow. What mm. an interesting journey, guys. <laughs> wow. I didn't even know this when I'm your friend. So yeah. I'm, I'm like so blown away. Like, how did I not Actually, know this? Actually, not everyone knows how <laughs> like, I ended here. But and I feel like this, um, is where this channel is all about being authentic and yes. saying your story, uh, whatever mm, your story is. Mm. And yeah, man. And then you got to CPUT, you got accepted. Yeah. And what happened after that? Got to CPUT first year, 2020. Mm. Went to campus for six weeks. Then lockdown came. Oh, and then we never damn. went to lock. We never went to campus ever up until again. now. Up until and this now. is like, guys, to My give you context, year. this is like the first week of November in 2022. <laughs> so like it's been like two week, two years, yes. three years, like three years. It's three years. 2021 and 2022. How it, lucky are I'm you? on my third year, and all I've done is mm. six weeks of campus. <laughs> Some children are just yeah. God's favorite angels. <laughs> I promise you, I suffered in campus. <laughs> I was there at CPUT taking the shuttle every day, <laughs> waking up from res, and you just pop up. This 2000. Online, child. <laughs> online. I've been doing it online. It has been 
a good journey. The course is beautiful. I enjoy it. I enjoy my teaching prac. Um, but it's also it has also been challenging. You know, we 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 always think that teaching degree is like the easiest. Mm. It's not. For example, we have a module language of teaching and learning. Mm. That's where you just it's English basically. Mm research a lot of research and then we also have the the, the major education as well mm. education just talks about philosophies and education sure. as a whole that's history so we basically do history and education mm. we're talking about the history of education from the the, the bantu's uh, education system up until now up until now yeah. yeah so you have to understand all of that when you're doing teaching it's not just so if you don't like history are you telling someone they mustn't go there they can go because it's not really history in everything it's history in the course that you're doing mm. history and education so when do you start majoring? Because obviously everyone uh, starts off with yes. Bachelor of Education. Yeah. When do you decide, okay, now I think I want to teach in maybe high mm-hmm. school or university mm-hmm. or preschool. Like, yeah. where does that split happen? Okay, so when you apply, firstly, they're like, for education at CPUT, there are mm. four qualifications, so mm. to speak. We have the first one, It's I think it's a certificate mm. in education. Mm. That's when you want to become just a great art teacher. Yeah. When you have the certificate, then we have the different phases. So you apply for a different phase yourself. Mm. So you apply this inter- um, foundation phase, intermediate phase, and the ed. I mean, the senior phase. So if you wanna, so how it goes is that foundation phase it's from I think grade R until grade three, mm. and then intermediate phase is grade four until grade seven. Those are the classes you're gonna be teaching, and then B um SP senior phase and FET that's from grade eight until grade twelve. Yes. Mm. So you apply for a specific phase that you want to mm. do be it the certificate where you're just a great art teacher or from grade R to grade three four and so forth so for grade for foundation mm. and intermediate teachers i think they do everything because mm. that's a grade where you do all the subjects and mm. everything but for spfet which is the senior phase you choose which subjects you want mm. to teach so for example i chose ems so ems i do ems in english those are my majors so you choose from the first year that you get in you choose yes for yourself what you want to do be it ns that's when you go to like physics chemistry mm. and life sciences or you go for ems or you can go for cat you choose on the first year what, what if, you like, want to study choose on the first year and yeah. i think okay i really enjoy accounting mm-hmm. i'm doing my ems then second year comes i'm like i actually don't, you like don't really this. like it yeah and you're allowed to switch you, you are allowed to change modules however you're going to start from first year again yes oh for that God. major suffering I'm yeah. not made to suffer <laughs> I don't think I could ever because I feel like I'm such a not that I'm indecisive but maybe yeah. I'll like something in the first yeah. year then second year and third year comes you feel like, like uh, not really ah, in for not it really. but yeah. I've always liked English so maybe I would have been You've an English teacher that. if I did hard teaching. though I have to say yeah a lot of people say English is actually the hardest to difficult, teach. difficult but I think it module. makes sense because have you noticed in high school the English teachers never leave yes they've been there for like for years. 30 years <laughs> they will teach you yeah. your parents your grandchildren your great grandchildren Whereas with other subjects, I feel like the like for for example, any teacher sometimes mm. would leave and yes. stuff. Yes, um, I also think it goes with opportunities. Mm. English teachers mostly in demand for languages, maths, and accounting, physics. Those are teachers that are in demand. So mm. if they have you, they'd like to keep you. Mm. Whereas the others, it's really hard to get around. If you're mm. hired as a business studies teacher, I it's probably understand. on contract or you were hired by the what do they call it? That governing body of the school. I'm not oh, sure like it's um. SGP, SGP, yeah, SGP, a- something, something like that. SG. You SG should be something. knowing what SGP I actually should for know. because I know it's called it's SGB. governing SGB. body. It's SGB, it's SGB, SGB. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if you're hired by SGP, it's probably not going to be for long. Yeah, but <clears> the thing is also there's a lot of schools that actually don't do a lot of um, mm. subjects. Yes, Take, that's for true. example, we do have technical high schools mm-hmm. that actually don't even tap into the yes. world of economics. Yeah, that's true. Into accounting and into those type of subjects. Mm. I just want to get your view since you're studying teaching. Mm. Do you think it's something that um, is, like obviously it's a niche market in that technical yeah. school because they're doing physics, um, drawing, mm. and maybe technical something. Yeah. So what would you say to someone who's maybe in that school and thinking maybe I want to do accounting? Like what advice yeah. would you give to them? Um, well, that's tough. <laughs> I have to say, firstly, that's very tough. And... I think it just goes with honesty. You have to be honest with yourself to say, okay, this is not working for me. I want to change it. And you have to start looking at what you want mm. to do. That means you're going to have to change schools and go to a school that actually accommodates that. Mm. Um, we can't really change schools to say they must also have the subject in that subject. Actually, what I think what happens, what I've actually observed in most schools as well, is that if a subject in the school is bringing down the, I almost say GDP now, 
the pass rate of the yeah, school. Yeah, like the metric pass Sometimes rate. Sometimes they'll discontinue yeah, the Yeah, they will discontinue. I also want to ask you something yeah. whilst you're on that note. Yeah. I remember when I was in metric, yeah. we started CAPS. I think we started CAPS 2014. So in 2014, mm-hmm. I was in grade 10. So I remember that we used to have tourism and then to- tourism was no longer four points mm-hmm. in university. So yeah. they removed it. Yes. So what other subjects do you know from your teaching experience and learning at CPT mm-hmm. for the three years that you think, okay, the subject is probably going to be discontinued soon. Yeah. So it's not something that you'd advise someone mm. to do because it might not be for points in university. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just think for now, there's just LO and tourism mm. that don't really count for marks. I'm not sure about agriculture, but I did hear something about agriculture not really counting. Mm. But I think it does count. Okay, so yeah. it's just LO just and tourism. Just LO and tourism. Yes. Because that actually brings down your marks because a lot of mm. people don't know that. Like, yeah. I had friends who did drama, tourism, and... <coughs> let's drama say as well, I think. Yeah, yeah if you're studying for other subjects, drama that. and um, music... Mm. as well yes so if you're not going for like a degree that goes for music they're not really gonna care if you have music in your certificate oh yeah. that's interesting mm. because i always wonder i know that there's also some high schools that allow you to mix and match yes like maybe you can do pure math you can do music yeah. accounting and economics mm. so what did you think of that basket of like it subjects compared to your traditional yes you know you're doing economics accounting and, and, and yeah math, pure math because the, the high school that I attended, mm. you either had your A class, A class was always like EGD, which is your technical yes. drawing. It was physics compulsory, math is compulsory. Mm. So you can't mix and match. But I have friends now who went to schools where they did history, accounting, pure maths, life science. Yes. So what would you say about that whole um, subject basket? I Baskets can say that you... Yeah. Okay, so in some... It actually depends on what you want to study further. Mm. To some people, it does affect them negatively. To some, it's not really a big deal. But you have to check what you want to study further. So mm. if you want to do teaching, for example, mm. and like say teaching and accounting or teaching accounting, mm. you have to have those subjects. But I actually like the concept of changing subjects and having made more than one subject. Yeah. It like makes them versatile and study like other things than just studying one thing that's taking you nowhere. Mm. So if you fail in accounting, you still have English. You can still go with that. If you fail in that, you still have business studies. You can go yeah, in that. Yeah, I also think I like like that's that. one thing that... I thought it was a disadvantage mm. to the high school that we went to because let's say, for example, I did um, physics, pure maths, yeah. accounting, life science. So all these subjects were demanding. And then mm. you have your English and then you have your LO and all your other languages that yes. are also demanding too. And I did Isuzulu, um first additional and I did English as a home language. Mm-hmm. So everything was tough. There was no way we had caught a break. Yeah. So I think also the advice that I would give, even though I'm not teaching English mm. or teaching, studying a Bachelor of Education yeah. or anything, it's just if anyone's listening to this, whether it's a parent, it's an uncle and an aunt, and just you have a child that's in grade nine and you're thinking, we don't know what to pick. We, the child does not even know what they what like because mm. obviously they're in grade nine. I mean, no one made up their mind in grade yeah. nine that I want to be a doctor and that's it. A lot of times things change. Maybe yes. there's like one person that's stuck to it. Because mm-hmm. I think in my high school, in my matric class, there's only one girl that I knew always wanted to be a doctor and yeah. she just became a yeah. doctor now, like seven years mm. later. But most of us, like I could say 99% of us didn't know. We're still yeah. thinking, do we like this? Do we not do we like not? this? Yes. I do, for me, I highly recommend variety because mm. it's hard to have hectic yes. subjects all the time. Yes. But also, it goes with what you want to study. Like, as mm. you mentioned, if you want to study accounting, then you have to have your accounting. You have yes. to have your pure maths. Yes. That's the most important thing. Yeah. You need to have your languages mm. above 50, above 60 yes. compulsory. That's true. So... Like life science is not going to be really that important mm. to studying accounting. Maybe mm. you can forfeit life science yes. and rather do uh, maybe history or something mm. that may be, you know, just to balance. Of course, yep. it was hectic. Yeah. As I remember when I was doing physics, I didn't do well in physics at all. Math was horrible. Accounting, it's yeah, same. okay, it was good. I love life science. It was good. But yeah. the thing is also, you can enjoy a subject and not do well in it. I don't know yes, if that makes that's sense. True. Mm. I used to love life science, but when it came to the exams, there was just like so much that was asked because yes. life science had a lot of essay. Yeah. It had a lot of cramming and life science was also understanding. Mm. You need to understand how the heart works. You need to understand how the kidney works. If yeah. you don't understand how it works, you'll Literally not be able to answer the works, exam yeah. because the final <coughs> exam is not set by the lecturers yeah. or the teachers at the time. Oh, I'm so used to saying lecturer, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yes, high schoolers. Teachers. I'm sorry, you know. You don't have to graduate here. <laughs> so the high school teachers... And not people like from a high school that set the paper. It's mm, always external yes. people that are setting the paper. Yeah. So you can maybe have an indication because I remember teachers in grade 11 and 12, they used to teach, tell us, okay, you must understand the organ, maybe mm. the heart, it pumps blood and there's this and there's this yeah. and there's this. And then you go and you write and you're just like, I don't even know what this person is actually asking. So life science has a lot of understanding. Yes. That's one thing about yes. it. Also accounting. Accounting, yes. you must always understand 
how things add up. You must always understand the scenario. Mm. I remember because when it was, I think it was grade 11, 20. When was I in matric? I was in matric 2015. So yeah, 2014, 11, 13. I don't remember when, but I was in grade 11, guys, in those years. And then I remember the VATs changed from yes, 14% to, to 15%. 15%. So each and every test we got after that and every exercise, you're so used to saying 14%. Yeah. Even in the final exam, you'd be there 14, 14. And you start thinking, oh, oh no, my gosh, changed, that yes. is actually at 15. Because mm. accounting is a thing of they, you, what can I say? You have your um, theorems, you have your formulas, yeah. but there's some things you know from your back end of your mind. Yes. Credits is this, debits is this. Yeah. You just always know it. It's like the basics. That's how it is, and yeah. then when you get an exam paper that's not set by your teacher, because usually most of the time you know how your teacher sets the exam. Mm or sets a test or sets an assignment, you always know what they're looking for, yes. what they think is important because yeah. they've actually vocalized that in a high school classroom, right? Mm. So now you get to your matric exam or your grade 11 exams because most of my school from grade 11, like the yeah. trials were external, the matric um, year, almost Same all of the tests external, yeah. yeah. Just to prepare you to get into that writing. And you get there, this person's asking something and you're thinking, I know the key word here, yeah. but I just don't know how to calculate. So yes. also accounting is a lot of understanding. Yes, it's not just true. cram, cram, cram and pass. And move on. Yeah, you have to understand the basic rules. Mm. I mean, the, the rules, standard rules, such as like the double entry system. You have to know what mm. goes to the side has to go that side. And that's what helps you to actually understand accounting And balancing better. the balance sheets is always yes. a problem, guys. Just know that yeah. balance sheets is going to follow you for life. I mean, in my, in my entire <laughs> life, only mm. three has balanced <laughs> And I've written so really? many papers. Really? They only always three. say never balances ever. Even only university, three. I did um, my undergrad in retail business management and my postgrad in marketing. But in my undergrad, we literally had finance, yeah. which was like sort of like an accounting, but more financial side now. Mm -hmm. We still did the balance sheets. So don't think that, okay, I didn't do accounting in high school. If I choose to study marketing yeah. or I choose to study business management, you don't really have to do it, one, won't, two, it will come and it will haunt Actually, you. Actually, it will. It certainly will. It will come and it will haunt you. Um, that's what we don't actually realize. Just because you didn't do a specific subject doesn't mean it's not involved in this other subject. In, in university, you go, that's exactly, the craziest you come part to that I realized. And they hit you. For example, if you want to study, say for example, in your first year, like me, say for example, you want to study business studies. You want mm. to be a business studies and economics teacher. Business studies and economics is part of EMS. Mm. EMS has accounting in it. So in your first year, you're going to be doing all three. Regardless of whether you did accounting in high school or not, or not, you're going to have to do all three. It's only in second year or in third year that you actually choose business studies and economics mm -hmm. separately. That's when they Damn. divide it. So you're going to have to do it. So most people, it was shocking to them to come to high school and they get here and they're like, I mean, to come to varsity and they get yeah. here and they're like, wow, I have to do accounting again. Some students who wanted to do, maybe they wanted to do physics and just physics and they hated mm. life sciences it's still natural science so in yeah first it's year, compounded second year you're gonna do life Guys, science i feel like that's the biggest scam of life science. like exactly. they i wish when you were in you like i wish in grade 11 some like you know how the universities would come because mm. i remember i'm originally from Devon, so yeah. ukzn would come and varsity college came and duty would come just to say okay guys we have an opening day and maybe we have a science fair mm. we've got whatever fair we have going on career fair and you'd get there and no one would tell you, even the people that are graduates yeah. there, even the alumni in the university, yeah. even your friends, cousins, nieces, nephews, neighbors, whatever, would never tell you that if you, even if you're studying this, this will pop up. Yes. If you're studying this, this will pop yeah. up. So yeah. don't ever think that, okay, just maybe I didn't do be, accounting. Mm, it's never going to hold me. I'm never going to get it again. I'm never just be open-minded, guys. Just be, be open-minded. Open but yes. also I would say, do not go. For me, I felt like the, the things that I did were too hectic. Therefore, mm. it was hard for me to balance. I can give it yeah. my all. But I'm giving my all to so many subjects mm. and modules when I know I'm never like I just knew I would never go into the medicine world or yeah. the science world. Yeah. So I always kept asking myself, why am I even studying physics mm. if I know that I'm not I'm really gonna ever going to need it? And I honestly never even used it in yeah. university. That's because I knew I was never going to do science. I was never going to do Bachelor of Science in something. Yeah. You I have always to be knew realistic. it was like pro probably you know, I knew it was always gonna be economics, something business related, marketing, yeah. something English related, but I just never saw myself going into medicine mm. or anything that but still did yeah. so I think we have to be realistic. Like we really have to be realistic. For me, I think it's maths. Mm. Even though it does come back now to haunt me, I should have left maths a long time ago. Mm. And the thing is, I was given so many opportunities. Like they set mm. us down as an entire class. They said, guys, 
you are suffering. <laughs> <laughs> and we were suffering. <laughs> you are I suffering. feel like the whole country can relate <laughs> exactly. to mad suffering. And they said, I listen, eighty <laughs> percent, not even eighty, like yeah. nineteen. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm trying to get a realistic, a realistic figure. figure. Let's say eighty percent. No, uh, for me it was like eighty five. Yeah, going to ninety yeah. percent, like yeah. anywhere between eighty five to ninety. ninety. The mm. class was struggling. Like yeah. people were just doing maths because mm. we have to do physics, to do physics and yeah. also because our parents and our relatives and yes. family members yes. were like, you yes. have to do physics. If Sometimes you don't do physics, even... you won't go to university. I know someone who didn't even do physics. I know someone who did a history, a uh, maths lit. Uh, it was history, maths lit, life science. Mm. What else did they do? I think they did business studies. Yeah. Okay. Business studies, history, maths, lit, and you said life science. Life science, yeah. yes. So then they started. They started to be a lawyer. Now they're in law. So mm. it's like it's you must also possible. just understand maybe the entry requirements and the APS yes. points that's needed. Because yes. yes. law does not necessarily need you to do physics. Mm. You know, you can't do it just as obviously to get your APS points yeah. and get an understanding. Yeah. Because they always say maths and physics is important because it helps you think and it helps you. You become a problem solver oh, yes. if you're good in maths and yeah. physics. So I'm promoting you guys to study maths and physics. <laughs> but if you can say it's not working, guys, don't yeah, force yourself you because out. you're going to end up getting a low mark for it and mm. it's going to affect your APS score. For life. For life. For life. That's the thing. My trick is mm. for life. Even if for you can life. rewrite it, you you will not, like, how can I put this? Like, you can rewrite it. You're still mm. going to do well. But yes. it's going to be like you, you're you just using another year of your life yes. to go over something that Whereas you could you should have, have studied something else, else in the meantime. Prior and mm. just continued with that, yes. For me, I also feel like they were, gave us ample chances. The guys are suffering, go. And I was like, no, I'm smart. I can make it. And I didn't. And I didn't. I should have been honest and realistic with myself. To yeah, say, no, I feel like there was not, not a lot subject. of honesty. Yeah. I feel like also we did a lot of um, subject choosing mm. based on family and yes. based on your friends. Friends as well. You'd mm-hmm. say, oh, but my friend is doing, doing physics. Doing one, two, three. Why then can't I if, do? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Why can't I do physics? Then um, this person's not going to beat me. I yeah. mean, I'm smarter than yeah. them. You do not know you're smarter than anyone else. And there's also a else. stigma that goes also with other subjects. For example, people get shamed for doing tourism. It's exactly. Like doing the subject in the world. I so think, what? honestly, if it was up to me in high school, I would have been. I, I remember the 12th D class. The D class was business studies, it was geography. Mm-hmm. It, you either had a choice to do pure maths or maths lit. And what else? It was business studies, geography, and life science. So I think that was a good basket that I yeah, actually would have chosen. That's actually looking a good back. one. Mm. But now, obviously, because like parents are here saying, yeah, you must do physics. <laughs> and your parents don't understand. You're going yeah, to study business studies. Exactly. What is business studies? What is geography? Where like, is it going to take you? That's exactly. what they always ask. What are you going to do when you have I just like, oh my gosh, but I don't want to do that <laughs> stuff. Mm. Like, I would rather have a great business studies mark or a great geography mark, mm. knowing that it can push my APS up yes. instead of having a horrible physics mark. When, mm. That takes like, you nowhere. That, that actually you nowhere. forces you to stay home or to do something else or whatever. That's that physics so I can the maths mark. Every time I look at my I'm just like, same, child, same, same what child. is happening? I always though? look at maths and I'm what like, you happening? know what? Because sometimes you give it your best, but you're just mm. not that good and i think a yes. lot of people just especially when you matric a grade 11 a lot of your parents and relatives and neighbors will say oh no you look tired you know what you can do you must just study even if you mm. study if you're not getting it you are not getting it guys yeah. stop being stubborn i feel yeah. like I, I had a lot of stubbornness like yeah. oh. and then you get to the matric exam literally i think the only thing that made me even close to getting a mark in physics mm. was um physics physics because physics is divided into two papers so there's paper chemistry. one and paper two oh, which okay. is chemistry chemistry was just i think i probably answered like three questions oh, in damn. chemistry because chemistry was hard guys yeah. it was like that x plus y equals this Ooh, no. given the triangle no, no, it's no. also they gave you scenarios no. newton's law and all this other stuff never just like guys i don't even know what's happening here you know Could never but whereas with physics physics at least you know and with chemistry you had to add up certain compounded things there were electrons there were protons mm. there were neutrons and you have to understand how each and every... Oh, guys, I, like, it's just trauma. Actually, I don't want to go into it. Like, yeah. you start crying. <laughs> so I feel like if only my school had offered me subjects... Option, yeah, yes. like, to mix it up. Because now yeah. you're just like, okay, if you're doing this, you're just doing this. And if you're doing this, you're doing this. I mean, I understand that's how um, schools probably structure yeah. their curriculum yes. and learning program. But, uh, guys, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> if you say you're suffering, rather change it. I had yeah. a friend of mine who changed, like, mid-grade level. Like, you know, just before they register mm-hmm. you to go into matric, because yeah. when, when you go into matric, they register you, like, towards the end of grade 11, you yeah. must have an ID, yes. you must do all that stuff. So just before that, he was like, you know, I, I, like that. I, I see my future. That. 
and my future is not going to be bright yeah, here. I, like I need that. to change. And like he was allowed to change because yeah. it was before they registered mm. for the matric exams for the following yes. year. So he changed it. He did pretty well in his subjects that he changed. So I like, like that. I like that. That's a lot, lot of confidence, though, because yeah. now you have to teach yourself stuff from grade 10. Yes, that's and true. And then you have to teach yourself stuff mm. that you missed in grade 11 mm. and then carry on. So it was like, yo, I was like, yo, damn, I'm not going to go back. It's but right him. now, I yeah. think maybe I, sh- I should have, yeah. you know, should have switched to be like, mm-hmm. I also feel the same way because they told us that we were suffering in matric, the beginning of mm. matric. They said, guys, you have this opportunity. It's not allowed, but we're allowing you guys to change. Mm. And I was like, no, I should have, I should have actually taken it. I should have changed to maths bit. I think I would have done better in maths bit. I think I also would have done like yeah. better because maths is just paper one and paper two. You're tricking no matric job. Geometry. Mind you, I didn't. I don't. Still, till today, I don't know what's going on in trigonometry. But the thing is, it's weird because I feel like in high school you also just boxed into. Okay, let me start off by saying it like this: I went to a school that was not really privileged in terms of we didn't have a swimming pool, we didn't have a tennis court, we didn't have a golf court, whatever court. I look at high schools now and think maybe I would have been good in golf, I would have been good in tennis, or all these other sports that my school didn't offer. So my school is more education um focused. Mm. So it was just for them it was either you do education or you do nothing with your life type of vibe. Like we're not gonna hear that you oh you wanna be the next like for example rugby Motivational player. Speaker. We didn't have a, ra- a rugby court. So how are you yeah. going to play rugby? We also didn't actually. So how are you going to be the next Sia Colise? Mm. So I look back and I'm like, if I ever have kids, I want them to go to a school that, that has, has exposure variety, yes. in terms of sports and yes. in terms of education. Very important as well. Not everyone is academically talented. Yes. Mm. And then you get a lot of people, even if you get to university, if you do make it to university and you hate school, sometimes you make it to university, right? And then you get to a point where you're like, actually, this is not for me. I actually enjoy soccer. I had mm. a friend of mine drop out when he was in a second. He had a bursary. He was doing so well. But because of the fact that he never liked school, his parents were pushing him. Yeah. So now he was from another province. He was not from Cape Town. Yeah. So the minute he came to Cape Town, right, he was on some, you know, I, I never honestly liked this. I was just doing it for my parents because mm. both my parents were teachers and the yes. academics. So now do I want to be like the failure or like the ugly duckling or the person that they look at in yeah, my family? The black sheep of the uh, family. Yeah, like, okay, why are you not studying? Because everyone else in his family is studying and they're all academical. Mm. First year, he had a burst. We had all these amazing companies approach him because he had very good marks. Good marks and yeah. he was doing a science course. So obviously, if you're doing science, especially in university, bursaries usually grab you in yes. first year. Like, I only got a bursary at the end of second year, <laughs> going to third year because I was doing, like, a business management, management type of yeah. thing. So he was, like, doing so well. And then second year, he literally didn't attend for, like, a lot. Like, Damn. And it was like, nah, I'm cool, guys. But I, 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 I commend that. I, and there are a lot of people that actually do that. Some people don't even wait to quit like first year some f- finish the degree and they take it back home they say guys i got it for you my parents but i'm going to do what i like mm. which is i kind of feel like it's a waste of time because why were you studying in the first place so that's good to be honest and say you know what this is not for me i'm gonna do something else mm. Mm. 